welcome to the latest real questions on AWS Cloud Practitioner. This is the part 11 of this playlist. There are already 10 parts in this playlist. Those questions are still relevant. Please click the subscribe button and hit the like button if you like my videos. Let's jump into the questions. Audit change management is the keyword. Out of these services, AWS config is the tool meant for this purpose. Always remember if there is an installation, suppose you have multiple EC2 instances and somebody changes the configuration, then you can use AWS config to let you know that a change has happened. In large organizations, for example, Amazon.com, there are so many services. Okay. If, if somebody messes up the configuration, it should not happen that Amazon.com goes down. That is exactly why AWS config is used. Trusted advisor will give you advice on security best practices. Clearly, this is not a requirement here. CloudWatch, if you want to watch certain metrics, then you can use CloudWatch. Here, there is no metrics to audit the change management. An inspector is used for automation of vulnerability management. This is my final answer. This question asks if you deploy your web server. See, this is your web server. If you deploy this in region 1 and you also deploy this in region 2, then what is it that you have raised? Basically, common sense, you have raised availability because if this goes down, this is available. So, this is a good system for high availability. High availability is important in the cloud world just because you have deployed the web server in two regions it will not become secure okay it will not become durable also and coupling is something which is used with microservices architecture so here if you have multi-vision deployment it has nothing to do with coupling this is the final answer see this is a shared responsibility model okay it is asking in the shared responsibility model which of these controls is a shared responsibility of client and aws physical control is purely aws responsibility because as a client you do not have access to physical hardware similarly zone security and data center auditing is with aws because zone security who enters in the zone who does not or who can access those zones who cannot it is aws who manages it and data center auditing see as a client when you are the client you don't even have access to get inside the data center and maybe your data center may be in a different city you are uh, working in chicago your data center may be in california so you don't even get to get in as a client so that leaves us with only one answer that is patch management 
see patch management now aws will tell you there is a latest patch of the operating system on ec2 instance do you want to apply it then you can choose yes i will want i will apply this and then you can take the necessary steps to apply it so both you and aws will take this responsibility similar question in a different way they have asked in the exam you know it can, similar question can be asked in n number of ways again it is saying what is shared responsibility between aws and customer see it is patch management and config management see server hardware management server hardware you don't even have access customer will not get access physical and environment controls customer will not get access now application security you know it is purely customers baby you will have to secure your application either you want encryption address in transit you will have to use the tls certificates you will have to decide if i will keep my keys in kms and so on okay this is not joint responsibility here we are asking what is joint responsibility that means both the aws will tell you uh, boss do you want to install the latest linux version on ec2 instance you will say yes and you can do the formalities needed for that purpose this is the final answer see if you are creating an application no an application means consider it as a website so what will you do as a part of this practice you should have loosely coupled components so that uh, there is flexibility in scaling one of the components for example microservice architecture no? you have one front layer front end a middle layer and a database layer okay keep it loosely coupled don't tightly integrate this keep it loosely coupled so that you can based on the requirement if you need to put more resources here you can do that see i am showing you well architected framework and loosely coupled scenario is recommended it entails the processing of large number of smaller jobs this also helps you to run those jobs in parallel so one big task break it into small tasks and then run them in parallel so you will get high performance also and for loosely coupled you have to consider network storage compute deployment so this is the best practices we saw that well architected framework it is recommended by that framework please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button if you like my videos this brings us to the end of part 11 see you in the next part